Okay fam, so today's second series in my um, episodes of Destination Fitness with Carlos of my beach walks um, and talking about how good walking is for you is from the beautiful beach of Coogee, southern Sydney, not far from the city. We're really, really close to the city. But as you can see guys, it's another Thursday that I've come here, a weekday, and look at the amount of people out on the beach there guys, and beautiful clear water. Uh, a little bit hazy today, but that I'll explain why. But again, guys, another walk of Sydney on our beaches, episode two. Hope you enjoy it. One thing that I love about Kuji is the rock pools, which is something that's very Australian. So you've got the rock pools, which is the natural seawater that comes in, as you can see down there. So it's natural seawater. It's a pool um, that you can use to swim, but in summer, some, that's where you have the kids in that to make it a bit safer. But there you go. You've got your natural rock pools as well down here in Kuji, And that's the rest of the beach down there. So these are cool little areas and the Surf Life Saving Club behind you as well. So these beaches here, uh, you need to swim with, with the flags because uh, the surf lifesavers due to the um, beach being a bit rough and that so you've got to be a little bit wary like I said earlier um, but there you go you've got your rock swimming pools there okay fam so this is Coogee Beach as you can see behind me there and uh, again I've come on a weekday it's a Thursday and believe it or not it is packed again like I said Sydney most expensive city in the world to live in or second most expensive but <laughs> people are enjoying themselves we're 14 days since the end of winter so we're really right at the beginning of spring still and what a beautiful ocean out there so here you go guys and I'll show you the uh, other side of Coogee itself so this is the main beach and as you can see it's uh, even though I'm saying there's quite a few people when you come here on a weekday or sorry weekend especially this weekend supposed to be really warm when you come on a weekend this is going to be packed basically bumper to bumper you won't be able to move but look at that beautiful ocean out there and i'll explain a bit why it's a little bit hazy because normally we can see clearly all the way out there but uh i'll explain in a sec why it's a little bit hazy but there you go, that's Coogee Beach guys, the southern end of it. So I've got down on the beach itself, and as you can see the beach itself is a bit more of a wavy beach here. So it's not too calm, so if you do come here, you need to be um, prepared because it's not the safest to swim in. There's a lot of rips, you can see the swimmers out there. But it can get a bit rough but the water as you can see guys nice and clear and clear beautiful and lots of people on the beach like i said but uh wow well, but like i said guys it's uh, a little bit rough so you just got to be a bit wary when you're swimming down here you should be a pretty confident swimmer or you stay close to the edge like where i'm walking here but when you're doing your walk Coogee to Clovelly this is one of the best parts of it. Beautiful Coogee. Okay fam, and if you're wondering where the name Coogee comes from, it's actually an Aboriginal word and it means bad smell or smelly, smelly basically. But I can tell you now it doesn't smell bad here at all, it just smells like the ocean. So I don't know if like years ago there were marshes down here or something like that, but it's not that smelly but that's what the word Coogee means. So if you come to Coogee, and you're wondering what type of name is that or where did that word come from? It's Aboriginal for bad smell. As you can see guys, this is the main part of Coogee on the walk. We're heading up that way. Um, but that's the sun lovers down here and everyone else behind me there. And as you can see, people are dressed in various outfits, some for cooler weather and these ones obviously for warmer weather. And it is not a bad spring day today, but beautiful for a walk. 
Okay, fam. So when you come to Kuji, there's no public, uh, sorry, there's no trains or anything here. So the public transport is the buses. As you can see, if there's sun behind me there, this is the area where all the buses stop. Um, but you need to get a bus if you come in here on public transport, which is the only downside. But you're not far from the city. So if you get your train into the city, then it's all right. And if you're driving, there's a lot of hills, up and down hills, guys. So just bear that in mind. And as you can see, you're at the well beach. You've got all this grass area that you can sit out here before the beach. So it's a great little place with heaps of restaurants down here as well, guys. A lot of restaurants. Okay, so this is the main strip of Kuji. And as you can see behind me, it's all literally restaurants and cafes. I'll just flick it around for you. And there's basically every type of restaurant in here. It's in Turkish, Italian. Some of them aren't open yet because it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Got oh, going crazy behind me. And across the road, you've got the famous Kuji Bay Hotel, which is there, which is pretty popular. And you've got some juices, ice cream, gelatissimo down here. So basically, you get the drift. All restaurants down this way, guys. And it's the main strip. And this Kuji Bay Hotel, which is very popular. Okay, fam, so there you can see Kuji behind me. And the walk started all the way from the other side down there. Going all the way across over the beach. All the way around. And we're going to go back up over this hill, over to Clove Valley. And this walk is a few kilometers. It's not very far. But there's a lot of hills, which is great for your walk to add in that extra little bit of difficulty when you're doing your walks as i said to you previously walking isn't that difficult but if you add some difficulty with some exercises like i did on episode one um, and even on some hills like it's got here on episode two it works well for you but look at that beautiful beach behind us guys that's kuji beach again like i said earlier it's a weekday <laughs> it's supposed to be not busy but it is relatively busy for a thursday considering everyone should be at work um, but look at the views here guys like i said because it's hilly you get some beautiful views as well but Coogee guys, uh, like I said, not far from Sydney. So really after Coogee, you've got Clovelly, then you've got Bronte afterwards, uh, Tamarama, then Bondi. So it's down this direction um, where those beaches are. Now, if you're wondering what this is here behind me, at the beach, there was a Virgin Mary apparition here apparently years ago. It was very, um, look, got a lot of publicity. I mean, the Virgin Mary, I don't think should be appreciate what's going on behind me, but I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, there was a lot of different articles. There's even nuns that came down here. You can see there some of the wording. So this all happened a few years ago. As you can see the cross there. The Virgin Mary apparition, flowers. I think people have even put ashes down here. But what a place to have an apparition of Virgin Mary. Check this out, the cross. Overlooking the beach down there while everyone's having a swim. And look how clear and clean that water is, guys. It's beautiful. Although the air quality isn't the best today, beautiful beach. As you can see, guys, very unusual uh, stuff if you weren't aware. There's also Apparition of Virgin Mary here on the walk, as you're doing your walk. Things that you find that you didn't know existed. Okay guys, what you've got on the walk as well here is the Kuji Baths, which is like a natural uh, pool that they have here. As you can see, it's beautiful. And you can actually go in and swim in there. I'm not going in today, um, even though it's a beautiful, warm spring, early spring day. Uh, it's still a little bit cool with the wind that comes around here. We've got some of the kids going in, but as you can see, we've got a natural pool in the ocean just out there. And the pool comes in from the water there. So again, guys, when you do the walks, you see things like this. Beautiful. Here we go. These guys, I think, are going to go in. So we can see what these guys do. Atlas! Neil, you can see. Yeah, there's people on the tech Yeah, All the more reason. Come on, mate, you got to go for a good dive, yeah. eh? Take a run up. Where's Sam? Should go 
And you see the water's a bit rough out there as well. Look at that pool, beautiful. That's where the water comes in there. Again guys, and that's on your coastal walk. And that's why these coastal walks in Sydney are beautiful. You've got these things here behind you. So as you can see guys, another reason these coastal walks are so good. I've just come from the hill. Coming up there, I've got to go down the hill to get down here. Back up the hill and the walk continues around the other side there. I don't know if you can see the water down there, it looks beautiful. But that is why this coastal walk has got a good degree of difficulty because you're going up and down, up and down. And if you've ever done like a Stairmaster, you don't need to walk that far to burn a lot of calories doing this sort of thing. So that's another good reason to do these coastal walks, guys. Not only do you see beautiful part of Sydney, look at that water, beautiful there behind you, but you lose weight, you burn calories, you enjoy yourself, you get out a bit, it's beautiful. I mean, I live here in Sydney, obviously, but I don't do this very often. Um, so doing it for me, I feel like a tourist, but it's a great way to see the city as well, guys. And as you can see, guys, I'll just show you how the water comes in up here. So you can see the water comes all the way in here from the main ocean there. So it's a lot calmer as it comes in here. As you can see there's no, um, no waves like you saw at the main part of Coogee. But you almost feel like you're in uh, like Italy, as you can see at the top there, all the homes at the top of the rocks up there. But down here, you've got the beautiful areas to swim in. Uh, right. And lots of other people doing the walk. You've got the boats that are kept down the bottom down here. And the fauna and flora, if you're into your flowers and plants and all this, very Australian. If you look at all these plants down here. And as you can see, all the people on the rocks, sunbaking. Like I said, it's only 14 days, September 14, 14 days since winter finished. So this is very, very early spring. And look at that, beautiful. And like I said, again, this is why these walks are so good. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Little cove, all to yourself. Look at that. Fantastic. And as you can see, guys, this is the little beach here. How cool is this? Like I said, very private. Got a bit of wind coming in, very private. And we come from up there, we're going down here. Beautiful. Okay guys, so you can see behind me there, that's where I just come from. Walking down that little cove. Down here where I just took those videos of the water coming in. And look at the apartments here behind me. All overlooking that. And again, that's why these walks are so good. And as you can tell, I'm about to walk up and down. So getting a little bit of a sweat up, even though it's nice and warm anyway. But uh, one thing that you will notice here guys, or hear a lot of, is a lot of uh, different accents um, as you're walking around. Coogee. Because of the proximity to the city, which isn't far, and the airport, which isn't far, a lot of backpackers stay here as well. So you find a lot of British, I just heard French going past me, a lot of British accents. So um, it is a place that's uh, well known and well liked by British backpackers. So that's another thing you'll find here, guys. People of all types. Look at this plant here behind me. Don't know if you can see it properly. But uh, yeah, guys, what a beautiful walk. I'll tell you. You got to do these guys if you come to the city and you'll see well, these apartments all and look at these apartments their view is basically that <laughs> you imagine that for a view and i don't know i think i, I look at the guys on his paddle board down the bottom down there don't know if you can see it but uh one other thing i was mentioning about the air quality normally this is clear as guys and there's even apartments all the way over there but i don't think you can see them uh there's a lot of hazard burning because we've got bushfires here in sydney especially during um summer so the hazard burning has created a lot of smog and smoke and actually our air quality is one of the worst in the world at the moment. This is September 14 today and it's one of the worst, if not the worst, I think in the world. It was on the news the other day. So that happens as well because they've got to prepare for summer when there's a good chance we will get bushfires. Um, but once again, guys, just taking that behind me. You think you're in one of those uh, sort of Mediterranean looking places before the apartments and buildings up on the side of the rocks and mountains there.
And guys, I was talking about the walk and the steps. This is the steps that you have to take to go up and down here. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a long way up, but at least you've got the views as you're going up and down. But it can be a little bit of a workout, which isn't a bad thing when you're doing a walk for health and fitness and to enjoy the sights. As you can see behind me there guys, a bit of a walk up these hills. There's a few stairs like this as well um, before you get to Clove Valley, which is really good. Okay guys, so I've got to Clove Valley and this is Clove Valley. As you can see they've got a the makeshift pool, but also this is a proper swimming area where it's all calm and um, Oh, just getting the helicopter going up there, which does the uh, looking for life saving for sharks and stuff like that. So that flies over a lot to warn people if they're sharks. But as you can see down here, guys, that area there, the water is nice and calm. Comes all the way in here, natural water, uh, but it's all protected, so you can swim safely. A lot of people do laps, and you got a man-made pool as well. But uh, there, there's Clovelly, guys, and the beauty is, if you want to stop something to eat, you've got places to eat along here as well. Uh, and the walk continues, it goes in around here and up again on the hill that way. So we're going to go to the end there and that's where we end the Clovelly um, Coogee or Coogee Clovelly walk. Okay fam, so this is what the beach at Clovelly looks like. Going all the way into the main water down there. So again guys, beautiful, beautiful little spot. I mean it's a quietish day but there's still people out here today. But how nice is that walk guys? all these little beaches, all these little coves. Okay fam, so this is where we end the walk, we're at Clovelly. As you can see behind me, you see them big waves there, that's where the ocean comes in. Hits this area here and it's all nice and calm to the swimming area back there. But that was the uh, walk guys, and again, the Ocean Walk, Series 2, Clovelly uh, to Coogee, or Coogee to Clovelly, depending on how you want to word it. But uh, what a beautiful walk guys, and what a beautiful a lot of sights to see as you're doing it and a nice way to keep fit and active and lose some weight but anyway guys like i said um, this was the walk hope you enjoyed this episode guys next one's coming up probably next week for episode three of the sydney coastal walks guys and again hope you enjoy it and let's keep active guys keep active keep fit keep healthy healthy lifestyle